This is Kickside Math 101. Today, I'm walking through Splash, Spread, and Fall Off. Hey everyone, Derpy here. Welcome back to another Battle Parts video. Totally fine if you check out here. I will give you a super brief what this means for your Ravager build at the very end. First of all, what's Splash and what's Spread? It's a lot easier to just use an example on a blueprint. I've pulled up the Absolver Scattergun. It's nice and simple. Works the same with the Mortar or Rocket as far as I can understand in any case. Now, this splash value means whenever your projectile hits, whenever your pellet hits, it does splash to everything within a range of 15. Okay, that's simple enough to understand, right? Well, the spread value means every time you hit, you will have actually, your chance of hitting is within this range. But this range of 90 is a bit of a misnomer. It's not 90, it's 90 divided by 5, and it's 18. Why? I don't know, because Kixi has their range systems run differently on their backend computer than the player base and the player facing ranges, at least, as far as I understand that. So this means that every time you, you're hitting things in a circle uniformly distributed in a range of 18, I'm calling this absolute spread just to make things easier. And that's this large gray circle. So this has a radius of 18. This is where you might hit if you're firing at something in the very center. And... Now, let's now say that your splash value is 15, you're not modifying this whatsoever. On the worst case scenario, it means that you might hit on the far left of a circle and not actually damage the thing you're shooting at, because you're hitting 18 range away but only doing damage to something within 15 range. That's not great, and we can actually calculate the chance of missing and not doing that. It's the area of a large circle divided by the air, or minus the area of a small circle divided by the area of that large circle. You only actually hit with an absolver scattergun. Actually, the numbers are the same on the blood litter as well, with 30% of the shots that are actually being fired. That's not great, and it's something you might want to increase. But before we do that, things get a little bit more complicated. I mentioned fall off. That's a hidden stat, and you can't really see it. How it works is whenever you hit slightly further away from that main target, you do less damage. At maximum range here, 20% fall off means you're losing 20% of your damage, you're only doing 80% of the damage hitting far away. Actually, quick note, that might have been flipped around in my head, but it doesn't matter because we don't see this stat anyway, so if Kickstarter reports it, it's 80% instead the 20%, it doesn't matter. Basically, if you're further away, you do less damage to something. Once you actually run out the math here, and I'll show you that the, the formula here is 1 minus fall off, so this 0.2 divided by absolute spread, which in our case is still the 18 example, you have to multiply this by 2 thirds, which is the average expected distance from a circle. If you think about a uniform distribution, a bunch of points landing in a circle, most of them are going to be sort of more towards this outside. It's actually calculus. You can do that, and you get that the average value is two-thirds away. And then you multiply this by that new spread, because it wouldn't make sense to have absolute spread and absolute spread again. This has to be the new spread after potentially being modified by a special. It doesn't matter. You probably checked out with that one. But when you run these numbers for this random example I used, the actual fall off on the Absolver Scattergun could be 20, could be 10, could be 50, could be 60, no idea. And you get that only 80%, only out of the shots that hit, 87% of them actually do damage. You lost 13% of your damage due to fall off because things on average hit slightly further away than right close. And once you combine the shots actually hitting, doing less damage, and all, some of the shots missing, you're only doing 60% of your damage of what you might think based on the blueprint. That's not great, but we have one more thing to talk about with damage over time. As we jump into that, I'll show you a few different specials you might be using. A lot of people will be saying, uh, you know, for mortar builds like Dreadnought X, for much more recent things, spread is bad. You want to reduce spread. Why are they saying this? Well, because of fall off. Looking at a few numbers with Explosive System 4, which reduces your spread to 14 and increases, increases your splash to 24, splash is greater than spread, so 100% of the things you shoot at are going to get hit by those projectiles. The area around those will be a little bit less, but it is still possible. Now this means that you only actually lose because you're hitting on average a lot closer to your target, you're only hitting 
you're only losing 11% of your damage due to fall off, which means in total, you're doing 89% of the base incoming damage you might think. That's great, that's a whole lot better than 60%. Okay, let's take a look at Combustion System 2. Instead of decreasing spread, let's now increase it. We also increase splash by more than that, which works out to mean that our splash is greater than our spread, so we're hitting everything we're shooting at, whereas unmodified with these numbers you weren't. The falloff loss actually increases from those from either of the uh, Explosive System 4 or the unmodified one on the right, and we're increasing the damage loss to fall off because on average we're hitting further away, we're more spread out than we were before, and this ends up being 80% of incoming damage. It's greater than, than that 60%, which is good, but less than Explosive System 4 for a single target. Now things get a bit more complicated if you're shooting at multiple targets and Explosive System 4 is more damage narrowly concentrated. Combustion System 2 depends a little bit on the values of the weapon, but it is a little more damage, but way more, you know, way more spread out across the entire target you're shooting at. And then the normal one is just sort of in the middle, you know, not very concentrated and not a very large area. If the splash value fall off was like 80% instead of 20%, which might actually be a better number, Combustion System 2 would do worse than not having something on there whatsoever. And that's a pretty crazy thing to realize, and that's why people say spread is bad. But not for damage over time, because splash fall off does not matter for damage over time. Every damage over time stack that hits within the green area, area at, in this representation in this model we're using means that it applies a stack and that's what damage over time works as is a stack yes you use that initial damage you lose the initial damage from just the regular normal damage but that doesn't matter because it's so low for damage over time like 96 compared to 1200 so with damage over time and with your ravagers as long as your hit rate is 100 percent meaning splash is greater than absolute spread you're totally fine for damage over time, big spread and big splash can be a very, very good thing, which is why I've been looking at Combustion System 2 on a few of my Ravager builds. I fully recognize not a lot of people are going to watch this video. I just sort of wanted to have it out there on the record for people if they're interested in figuring out how this works. Now you can because it's no longer in my brain. And of course, a few other people have probably had it in their brains as well as we've gone throughout things. Now, there are other ways to get splash and spread, primarily from Molotov Maidens, Hellfire Heathens, some other rogue crews here, which means Combustion System 2 might not be the best special because you can get the benefits from the crews if we actually do need those. And that's something to realize regardless of what weapon you're using, that it may be possible to do that very thing. The other thing I should mention is that, you know, uh, yes, Combustion System 2 does help. It does increase the damage you're doing and does increase the number of targets you're hitting. But maybe there's actually a better special for you, which I think for the Ravagers happens to be Interception System, but that's a different video for a different day. If you've got questions about this, go ahead and let me know and I'll get back to you. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.